Oh, come on. Really? Uh, it's happening again. Well, truth be told, I've actually been having this issue a bit after I actually uploaded the video where I fixed it. It wasn't actually the reset button that was causing the console to reset over and over and over again. Well, I'm certain that it did not help being stuck down for so long, but I do not believe that that was the actual end-all be-all of my issues. So, for the past couple months I've been searching online trying to figure out what exactly is the true cause of this problem. It turns out it's actually a very common issue when it comes to the Nintendo 64 console. I do not think that they actually expected us to keep on playing this thing long after they were taken out the production line. The faults of being a retro gamer, I, su I suppose. In my research, I found out that the, um, there was three primary answers that kept coming up and up and up. So I assumed it had to have been one of these three. It was either the power cord, it was overheating which is causing it to reset, or the jumper pack. Now, I did not believe that it was my power cord causing this because if that was true, the power light indicator thing, when you turn on the console, it would blink, meaning that it's not getting the power it needs, or there's some sort of interruption with the power. And I do not believe it is an overheating problem because my laptop has an overheating problem, and that thing gets so hot you could heat a bagel on it. My console is never on long enough, nor for it to actually overclock and overheat. So that just left one thing, which is the jumper pack. Or I think this is called the expansion pack thing. I don't know. I'm sure I'll Google what it's actually called and put it right down here. However, in order for me to actually test and see if it is in fact the jumper pack that's causing it to reset over and over again, I went ahead and I stole Jeff's Nintendo 64. This is mine, this is his. I know that's his because it's a weird aroma of Deadpool on it. Don't ask me on how that ends up on his video games. So what I had to do is... I hooked up Jeff's console to my AV cords, my power cords, and with my game. Because I'm making sure that it is not the games these times! because people are still watching that damn AV cable video. I was dumb back then. Still am. This is just his console. I didn't bring his cords or anything, just the console itself with the jumper pack, of course. So put it together, it runs fine, naturally, because it runs fine every time we play the Nintendo at his house. I hook my console up, it resets just like you saw at the beginning of this video. So it was very easy just for me to switch out my jumper cable into his, his, into mine. I put his jumper cable into my Nintendo, it works. Therefore the issue was in fact the jumper cable. Here's the weird part! I put my jumper cable, which we've determined is bad, into his, it works. I, I don't get it either. It's just weird to me as to why my jumper pack doesn't work in mine, but it works in his. I, I just don't get technology. If you have any thoughts and feelings, just post them in the comments. I like comments. I don't get them very often. I have 44 subscribers and none of you assholes ever comment on my stuff. Then again, there's no reason to. Eh. Well, hopefully this is the end of this conundrum for right now. But if issues pop back up, I'll be sure to do another follow-up video. Even though I'm going to title, like, if you look at there, I said fixed. But I don't know if it's actually fixed for sure. Eh. But yeah, I hope that I not only fix my issues, but anyone else who comes across this video with the same ones, I can explain to you what's going on. That's kind of the reason why I started this show. So yeah, until next time. See you later.